all right everyone so in the last video we have successfully installed this anaconda on our local machine the next is we need to install the numpy library and get started with the jupyter notebook as i am on my windows machine so let me just open the command line prompt if you are on a linux or a mac machine you can just simply open the terminal so to open the command line prompt on a windows machine you can just simply open from the start menu and just type cmd and just type conda so it has given us the lot of suggestion that how you should use this command that means the anaconda successfully got installed on our local machine next is we can just simply type python and it will open the python command line prompt let me import numpy library and you can see it got successfully loaded on our local machine that means numpy is already installed if it is not installed you can just come out from here and just type pip install numpy so it will download this numpy latest package from the central repository and install in your local machine now it says that requirement is already satisfied in my case that means this numpy is successfully installed on my machine so either you can install through this pip installation way or a conda install numpy way now next is we need to start the jupyter notebook so let me just type jupyter notebook now this jupyter notebook also pre bundled with this anaconda so you do not need to install anything about the jupyter notebook all right so jupyter notebook successfully got opened on my local host 8888 port from here i can create a new jupyter notebook and let me create a brand new jupyter notebook based on python 3 kernel i have already hide it so let me just show it so toggle header and toggle toolbar let me just rename the notebook name so numpy test here i can write all those python code so let me import numpy as np now as np indicates that there is a lias name we are going to refer to this every single function available in this numpy library to execute this one you can just simply select or press this run button or shift enter or a control enter now this particular cell got executed and it has not return any kind of error that means the numpy library also successfully got loaded in our jupyter notebook python 3 kernel environment also all right all our environment got successfully set up the next is we need to start diving into the different functionality available in this numpy library so see you into next video we'll get started with how to create a very basic task in a numpy how to create a nd array